Good day grade 10 learners. Welcome to our third quarter lesson in music. Let us look and listen about the life and works of Filipino traditional composers. Grab your notes and let us learn more about the Philippine music compositions. The following objectives are describes the characteristics of traditional music, gives a brief biography of selected Filipino traditional composers, listens perceptively to excerpts of major compositions of Filipino traditional composers, and sings selections of traditional music composition with appropriate pitch, rhythm, style, and expression. Do you know the title of the song based from on lyrics? Is the song familiar to you? When do you usually hear it? Write the title of the song and its composer on the blanks given. Melody is the sound you hear while you sing or hum certain music. It is a series of tones that are played or sung one at a time. Can you recognize the melody of the song? Kindly sing it and try to recognize its melody. We all have different definitions of the, the traditional music. Let us do an activity. In two minutes draw or sketch or definitions of traditional music on the space provided. Create a four-line poem on the space provided. Make sure to use the English language as the medium of your poem. What is the theme of your poem? Share to the class your created four-line poem. Hi musicians! What you did a while ago was composing. Composition is the process of creating a new piece of music. Composers are those people who write music and use compositional techniques to create their music. In writing music, it requires some technical skills in compositions. Hi musicians! Can you name the following Filipino traditional composers? To know more about these composers, let us learn and discover more about their life and compositions. Be ready and have fun learning the different traditional Filipino compositions. Musicians, meet Lucio San Pedro. He was known as a master composer, conductor, and teacher. In 1947, he took classes at Juilliard School of Music in New York City. He was one of the educators at University of the Philippines College of Music and acted as the chairman of the Department of Composition and Conducting for three years. He was awarded as the National Artist for Music on May 9, 1991. At the age of 88, he died of cardiac arrest on March 31, 2002. One well-known composition of Lucio San Pedro for the voice was Sa Guoyang Duyan. The lyrics was written by Levi Salerio, are you familiar with the song? What is the message of the song to you? Listen to one of the compositions of Lucio San Pedro and share the message of the song to the class. Draw your story illustrations about Lucio San Pedro composition Sa Yugo in Duyan. Be creative and have fun posting your different story illustrations of Lucio San Pedro composition. Musicians Meet Antonio Buenaventura. He was known as a composer, competent conductor, and educator. He composed songs and made compositions for solo instruments and orchestral works that were based on folk songs of various ethnic groups. He was awarded as the National Artist for Music in 1988. One of the compositions of Antonio Buenaventura was Mindanao Sketches. Listen to the music on the link provided below. Aside from this, Buenaventura also composed an other well-known piece Pandango Sa Ila. Musicians Meet Antonio Molina. He came from the family of musicians on one of his father's orchestra members, Celestino de Vera taught him formal lessons in solfeggio and violin. He was the mentor of two prominent composers Lucretia Kosilig and Philippe de Leon. He was awarded as the National Artist for Music in 1973. At the age of 86, he passed away in 1980. One of Molina's composition for chamber music was Hadangabi. Hadangabi is a serenade for solo violin and piano accompaniment. Listen to one of the compositions of Antonio Molina on the link. Provided, while listening to music, write your thoughts about the music you hear and share your thoughts with a partner.
Draw your thoughts illustration of Antonio Molina's composition had in Gaudi. Be creative and use your imagination on Antonio Molina's composition. Musicians Meet Hilarion Rubio. He was known as a renowned conductor for chorus and bands. He learned solfeggio and played various instruments like the clarinet violin and harmonium by an aglopion. Priest Amando Bune Camino. Musicians, watch and listen to one composition of Hilarion Rubio's Salamism. Write your observation on the notepad provided. Have fun listening and express your thoughts about Hilarion Rubio. Composition. Musicians, meet Ryan Kayabayab or Mr. C. He is a Filipino composer, musician, and conductor. His full name is Raimundo Cipriano Pujanti Kayabayab and was graduate with a degree in Bachelor of Music. Major in theory, he was able to pursue his studies and music because of Senator Salvador Laurel scholarship given to him. He was recently awarded as the National Artist of the Philippines for Music. Last 2018. Musicians. Watch and listen to one composition of Ryan Kayabayab's QMQ to QDAP create a symbolism based on the music that you have heard. Be creative in doing this activity. Let us share some insights about the composition Sismus by Ryan Kayabayab. What have you noticed about the composition? Write your thoughts, feelings and actions towards the composition of the format given. Congratulations, musicians! Now, get ready to sing by group. Each group must have five members. The class will have to sing and perform the song Cake and Dying adding Musica. Each group will sing it with the correct pitch, rhythm and lyrics. You will be graded by the rubric posted above. Musicians, let us take a look and learn about the life and works of Filipino new music composers. Grab your notes and let us learn more about the Philippine music compositions. The following objectives are, describes characteristics of new music, gives a brief biography of selected contemporary Philippine composers, and listen perceptively to excerpts of major new music composers' compositions. Listen to the given composition and write your observations about it on the space provided. Don't go does the music here familiar to you. Share your insights into the class. Identify the compositions of the following traditional composers. Write the letter of your answers on the blank even. We all have different definitions of new music. Let us do an activity. In two minutes, write a short essay about your definition of new music on the notepad provided we also included a reading material for you to understand the topic better.
Hi musicians! New music or avant-garde is the most important development in music during the second half of the 20th century. Its basic premises of the traditional art music was rejected for its style to be employed. The following are the characteristics of avant-garde music. Hi musicians! Can you name the following avant-garde composers? To know more about them, let us learn and discover more about their life and compositions. Be ready and have fun learning the different avant-garde Filipino compositions. Musicians, meet Jose Maceda. He was known as the first avant-garde composer in the Philippines. His arrangement of avant-garde music was conducted by different organizations inside and outside of the Philippines. He dedicated himself to promoting Philippine music. He received an award as the National Artist of the Philippines for Music in 1997. Hi musicians, let's do this activity. Listen and observe one of the avant-garde compositions of Jose Maceda, drawn on the blank sheets of paper the emotions you feel while listening to the music. What are your thoughts after you listen to it? Share your thoughts and works with the class. Your mission by a group is to present a narrative photo essay about your thoughts on the avant-garde composition Adlit Adlit by Jose Maceda. Make your presentation unique and creative. Musicians, meet Ramon P. Santos. He was born on February 25, 1941, in Pasig, Rizal. He started his formal music instruction and basic piano and solfeggio by his grandmother, Josefa Andrada Pagan. His avant-garde compositions included Philippine native instruments and compositional styles like improvisation. Hi musicians! Listen to one of the compositions of Ramon Santos Clintang. Draw on a short bond paper a unique poster that the composition implies to you. Follow the format given for the activity. Musicians, meet Lucio Jerry Dadup. He was born on November 5, 1935, in Hinunangan, Southern Lake. Born in a family of musicians, Dadup was primarily interested in jazz and folk guitar. Before becoming interested in classical guitar, as he has his avant-garde compositions, he experimented on the combining the instruments of rondel ensemble with the Western Orchestra instruments. Hi musicians, listen to one of the compositions of Michael Dadup. Write on a short bond paper the individual and group analysis of the composition. Each group must have four members. Follow the given format for the activity. Musicians, meet Lucretia Cosily. She was born on August 311,918 in San Fernando La Union. She was known as the first lady of Philippine music. In her compositions, she combined the indigenous Philippine instrument with the orchestra and choir, which is called the East-West Flavor. She was awarded as National Artist for Music in 1989. Listen to an example of Lucretia Kosselig's composition. Illustrate on the blank sheet of paper the scenarios you see while listening to the music. Give one word that describes the following avant-garde Filipino composers. This time, identify the differences and similarities of traditional and new music or avant-garde compositions using the Venn diagram. Congratulations, musicians! Now, get ready to make an art. Your mission by a group is to create an infographic about one avant-garde composer's life and one composition analysis of their music. Be creative and have fun learning. You will be graded by the rubric posted above. Be creative and have a unique concept of your group's infographic.